Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be looking at 15 must have Windows system tools that you should be having on your system and using on a regular basis. Now, obviously, there is more than 15 system tools that you can use with this tool, but I'm just going to be picking out 15, which I think are really awesome and useful. So you can see our Neural Launcher is what we could use here. Download this, works with Windows 32-bit uh, and 64-bit. Once you've got this downloaded, it's packed with uh, really decent tools and it really will speed up productivity on your day and make your life a lot more easier. So let's fire her up. As you can see here, um, it's from Neurosoft Utilities and there is a ton of stuff on here. 192 uh, utilities here. Uh, so we're just going to have a look at some of them and go through some of them okay now there is other ones on here which i think are, are particularly awesome as well but we're not going to be covering those like uh adapter watch and stuff like that we're just going to cover some of the ones that i think are really useful i'm not going to show you how to use them all if you want me to show you those you can request videos on my forums and i can go through and make those videos some of them i've already covered in videos so blue screen view um is exactly what it says on the tin. If if you've got a uh, issue and you're getting blue screen of death, or you're getting those stop error codes and stuff like that, then this is a tool that can help di diagnose issues with that and help you find out uh, where that problem uh, resides and fix it. Okay. Also, you'll probably find that forums ask for this information, so giving them this information is really important. And you just uh, can click on this. And uh, let me just open this up. As you can see here, you can change all the options you want. Okay, so lower panel, you can change this to blue, all drivers and stuff like that. And and you can change this how you want, okay. And basically that's it. So this will give you a reading. If you've got a blue screen dump file, a mini dump file, it's reading inside the WinC Windows mini dump. Okay, that's what it's looking for. There's nothing in there because this is not crashing. So that's the first one I would say is pretty good. Uh, browser view history, again, is another really good tool uh, if you want to, like a Chrome cache view and stuff like that. But we're going to be looking at a browser uh, history view here. And uh, what this is going to do is it allows you to view history of popular web, web browsers. Now, people, uh, if, you're, if you're fixing people's machines, looking at their browser history is an essential way sometimes to find out what they've been doing, what their pattern of searching is, and what they've been looking at, so you can actually give them good information about how to protect themselves. So if they've been going to dodgy sites, i.e. yes, porn sites, uh, and stuff like that, and uh, downloading uh, illegal stuff, it will show up in there, and it will give you the information. Sometimes they're not forthcoming, and they won't give you all the information that you need um, so you need to use this okay and again you just click on these and it'll give you the information tells you what it actually does okay so the next one I would say uh, is cure ports now cure ports is a real awesome bit of kit and you just come down in the order here now if you want to see all of these in one go here you can just click on all utilities and uh, it will put them in here just click on name and it will put them in alphabetical order for you so Cure Ports is displays all the lists of all the currently open TCP and UDP ports on that computer. Really great for um, detecting uh, stuff that's uh, remotely connecting to your computer or you know malware. It's a great way of rooting it out and find out what's been happening on the system. And you've got loads of good information here: company file, file version, product name, description. Um, loads of other stuff process services the service is related to uh, added on and stuff like that so it's really useful for that type of stuff you've probably seen me use this in some of my malware videos or malware removal videos uh, but definitely give this one a check out it's very useful and also the next one down is cure process again displays the list of all the processes currently running on that system self-explanatory really goes with the other one above uh, but this is the processes, the other one's cure ports. So you'd look at that and it will give you all the processes. Great for uh, rooting out uh, malware and stuff like that and problematic uh, processes that are hog bogging down the system and stuff like that. Now you can change all these uh, settings to, to your liking and um, kill selected process and so on here as you can see. Very, very powerful tool, uh, very worth having and using on a regular basis in my opinion. So let's... Uh, close that one off so the next one we're going to go to is a disk counter view 
and uh, we're going to come down to let's see here this counter view show disk drive read and write um, counters now this is a really awesome way of uh, getting some information about a drive as you can see we're on a virtual machine here so you're not really going to get much information here but you'll get the general idea so if I pull this open here a little bit you'll see the full full program what it's doing you can see here uh, we've got the drive and the name of that drive and uh, read count write count and you can see it's ticking away here read bytes and write bytes and so on uh, read time write time and it gives you all the information so that's useful as well I think that's a, a great little tool so let me just close that off and uh, disk smart view also is another great tool now I'm running on a virtual machine here so I'm not going to get any disk uh, smart information because I'm on a virtual machine but if I was on the actual main machine here and I clicked on it it will give me all the smart information just like crystal disk and all those other types of tools but this is awesome as well if you want to get a quick uh, smart information to see whether the drives failing or stuff like that great for that type of stuff so uh, let's have a look at uh, driver view here uh, so I'm going to come down now again some of these other ones here are great for other bits and pieces but I'm just uh, going to talk about these the ones I'm picking out here so driver view is displays the list of all drives uh, device drivers currently loaded on that system awesome for uh, rooting out issues with malware and stuff like that again as you can see here these are all your .sys files and uh, you would generally get uh, stuff pointing to certain uh, locations here and you can look at the information and it will have date modified date created and stuff and file path name attribute and so on okay so you can generally get an idea there of how to use that if you don't know how to use any of these you can always watch some of my videos but this is awesome for uh, rooting out stuff as well and you can also uh, right click on these and you get a load of information here Google search you can use the Google search to find out what that is and what it does and it will tell you on there and so on so let's close that off and we'll move on to the next and uh, the next one we're going to be doing a folder uh, let's see uh, let's see here folder folder changes view uh, folder, folder changes view this monitors the folder and the drive changes okay now this is great for monitoring uh, purposes so if you've got issues or you've got like uh, for instance let's just put this over here so you can see here folder change view for simple tool that monitors the folder or disk the drive that you choose and lists every file name and so on okay so we're just going to quickly uh, click OK here we're not going to go through this if you want to see a tutorial on this let me know but again let this populate and once that populates uh, it'll take a bit of time uh, but you'll get a general idea where you can view um, for instance uh, you can view like all the roaming folder uh, places like that as well uh, which is use useful as you can see here so this is any changes made on the system right now so it will start making changes now malware is going to start doing that sort of stuff and you would generally know because obviously there's been changes made as and when you get infected and stuff like that and you can see temp folder something's as access in the temp folder you can then go straight over here and look at uh, first event time last event time um, modified time and creation time and stuff like that and what its attributes are and what it's doing okay and also that will show up as well with other files and stuff there as well so you generally get an idea of what's going on pretty useful tool uh, for that sort of stuff and this will change obviously over the course of time but if you're monitoring something you want to try and uh, find out what's going on with the system you're getting a bit of uh, stuff so you point into a temporary folder and a file inside there now if that was a bit of malware going a bit rampant on the system that would uh, say on that day they got infected they brought it to you and you can have a look and it will give you an idea of what's going on so that's the folders changes view and we want uh, let's have a look here let's have a look at the uh, last activity view so view the lo uh, latest computer activity that's another great uh, feature if especially if you're trying to root out stuff 
and you can read uh, all the information here as well it gives you a little uh, help file here to give you uh, what uh, in some information on what it does windows operating system that collects information from various sources on running system and display and logs all that actions great way of uh, troubleshooting again you can just pull these open and have a look here okay we're not going to spend too much time here but you can see um, some information here and because we've been opening this stuff you see uh, it will log it uh, log it down here and uh, you can generally see now malware is obviously going to keep doing this as well and uh, it'll be a great way to see what's going on file extension executables and stuff like that and it will give you the uh, description file name and the path to find out where that location is as well okay now you can go to that path so if it's a rogue file you can open that path and go straight there and uh, root that one out okay now, there's some other stuff up here but if you want to see some videos on this stuff let me know now uh, my last search is another uh, good area to look for after we've looked at last activity view so we're going to come down to my last search now again uh, view your latest searches with Google Yahoo or MSN now this is a great tool if you've gone to see someone that are infected they're always very vague they say oh, I haven't been doing much I haven't been going anywhere and of course by looking at this it will tell them all the last places they went to before they got infected and uh, nine times out of ten you can get a good info bit of information on there i.e. Uh, some of the sites have been going to torrent sites uh, porn sites all sorts of stuff like that and it will help you determine their uh, search habits and also um, weed out any problems there so you'll be able to give them good information and say listen this is what you're doing this is what you need to do and uh, to keep yourself protected and stuff like that so it's useful so the next thing uh, we want to go down to is the open files view so we're going to come down a bit further and this is this one here and this displays the list of all the open files on your system self-explanatory really but uh, again a great little uh, tool and uh, I'm going to open this up here again and you've get you've got a load of stuff up here like targets and stuff like that as you can see like you can drag this button into the desired, uh, desired application and uh, this will help you okay so you can see here I'm not going to spend too much time on this but uh, generally you can go through here and it will give you some information here if you want to see some videos on them just let me know okay but again it's pretty self-explanatory in what it says there but it's a really great tool for that type of thing so the next thing we want to do is uh, we're going to pull this down let me see here so you can see process activity view there again another great little uh, tool there um, let me come through here and I think we're going to look for let's see special uh, folder view that's another great one so easily jump to special folders in your system now if you're working on a system and uh, you want to uh, remove stuff and you want to go have a quick look through the system but you don't want to keep going through the whole process of opening up start button and going backwards and forwards you could just come in here and uh, jump to these locations and it will double click on these and it will take you straight to them locations very very fast and very very quick app data as you can see roaming folder boom straight in there delete what you need to delete come back out go on to your next place program data boom straight in okay easy as that and uh, you've got loads of other useful areas here as well um, that you can go to which are pretty common um, program files common files um, stuff like that okay so you can keep going sys32 temp files temporary files windows directory all those good stuff and it also gives you some more information here so that's the special spot folder view and we're going to come down a little bit further here and we're going to go to USB uh, DView 
lists all the uh, installed USB devices that uh, you're previously uh, using on that system. Now this is a great, I see a lot of people with uh, USB issues and it's pretty common, but if you open this up, what it's going to allow you to do, you won't see much on here because we're on a virtual machine, but this is going to allow you to um, diagnose problems with your USBs. It will give you a long list. Now you can only see one here, but you would see a long list if you're on a main machine. Any USB device you've plugged into that will light up and be on there, okay? And it will say connected or previously connected here, and it will give you um, some information. You've got like traffic light thing here, like the red, green, and blue although you don't have blue on the traffic light, um, but uh, disconnect and so on, uninstall, so it allows you to search for them and remove these from here. Now normally these can cause a lot of problems, so remove any old ones that you don't use anymore, you can remove them out and sometimes it helps with conflictions. I think we'll do one more. Win crash report, I suppose, is a really good one. Displays a report about crash windows applications. Great for rooting out issues uh, with your programs if they keep crashing, especially games and stuff like that, or any sort of Windows program. It will give you a list here, and it will populate, and then away you go. You can uh, root those problems out. So another one, the last one I'm going to do here uh, for this video is, let me see, startup. There we go. So disable, enable, delete programs that are loaded at Windows Startup. Obviously, self-explanatory tells you everything there. Uh, there's all programs that load in Startup, and you may want to remove them. And that where that is where malware normally puts itself, or any old junk that you may want to remove out of there. Okay. So that's my list of 15 um, useful tools that you should have on your system and you should be using those on a regular basis. So I hope this one helps you out, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Now, if you've got any problems with your computers, you can always head over to the forum, join the community over there. It's completely free, and uh, register on that forums, and then you'll be able to post your information on there, whether you want to... Uh, a product review done or if you want a video done post it up on there we've got a problem with your computers it'll all be sorted out all over there okay that's the best place to get in contact with me anyway I'm gonna wrap this one up so thanks again for watching guys sorry it's a bit of a long video but hey I'll see you again in the next video bye for now